Hello. All right, we've got a book here. Prince Leopold needs a friend. Prince Leopold never left the castle on his own. His father, the king, said it's very dangerous out there. But Leopold was bored in the castle and wished he had a friend to play with. One sunny day, Leopold caught sight of a shadow on the wall. He shouted at it, hey, do you want to play with me? Leopold took out his wooden sword. So did the shadow. Leopold ran and jumped. So did the shadow. Suddenly, a big dragon appeared. It was a stitched tapestry hanging on the wall. Prince turned to his shadow and said, let's fight this horrible dragon side by side. They fought bravely. Leopold thought, it's great to have a friend. He's talking about his shadow. But suddenly, big dark clouds darken the sky. Leopold's shadow started to fade. The prince cried, hey, don't go away. The battle isn't finished. But his shadow disappeared, and he was alone again. The room became dark, and the dragon looked scary, and the gold thread of his eyes gleamed. Leopold was frightened. He ran to his dad for a cuddle. The king saw his son's face and said, oh, dear, Leopold, it looks like you just saw a dragon. When the sun came out again, Leopold went back to play. He ignored his shadow. He crossed, um, <clears throat> he ignored his shadow. He was crossed that it had left him on his own in the middle of the battle. Leopold walked through the hall and saw his reflection in a mirror. He said, hey, do you want to play with me? Leopold waved his sword and so did the reflection. Leopold shouted, let's fight. Then they ran towards the big suit of armor standing at the end of the hallway. His reflection followed, skipping one mirror to the next. The prince cried, attack. Together they fought bravely. But soon the sun went down, the hall got darker and darker, and the shadow of the suit of armor got longer, longer, and began to look more scary. The mirrors started to go dark too. The prince's reflection began to disappear. Leopold cried, hey, don't go. I need you. But soon his reflection was gone. Leopold was all alone again with his big, huge suit of armor. Leopold was terrified and ran to his father. When the king saw his son's face, he said, oh, dear Leopold, you know, <clears throat> um, you look like you just ran into a giant. The next day, Leopold did not go through the hall of mirrors. He was cross at his reflection, which means he was mad at it. He decided to go up over the tower and down below, and he saw a shepherd in the field guarding his sheep. He shouted, hey, do you want to play with me? The shepherd shouted back, I have to stay with my flock. Leopold really wanted to have some fun, so despite what his dad said, he walked over the drawbridge and out of the castle on his own. Oh, no. The shepherd was called Noah. He had a flute and took it out of his bag and began to play. Leopold listened in amazement. It sounded, I would like to play the flute too, said the prince. Noah taught him an easy tune to start with. But the sound that Leopold produced made the sheep bleat, which means they, they made noises. See, the sheep are making noises. Two boys burst out laughing. Leopold felt happy. He had never had so much fun. When the two boys lay down in the grass, Leopold and Noah said, what, what are you scared of then? The shepherd replied, I'm scared of the wolf that wants to eat my sheep. Just then the sky began to go dark. Soon it was nighttime and the shadows danced across the land. It's late, said Leopold. I have to go back to the castle. I have to round up my flock, said Noah. They stay in a pen at night. Then Noah handed Leopold the flute and said, here, take it. You can practice. Leopold was delighted. He smiled and went back to the castle. Just as Leopold walked over the drawbridge, he heard a horrible howl. Oh, that's the wolf, he whispered. He was terrified and ran into the castle courtyard with his hand on the flute that Noah had given him. He remembered how the shadow and his reflection had left him on his own when he needed them. He thought, Noah needs help. I can't leave him by himself. <laughs> Leopold turned around and walked out into the darkness. He followed the sound of the sheep bleeding until he found, he had found his friend. Suddenly, he saw two eyes gleaming in the darkness. It was the wolf. He was coming closer. 
Noah took out the catapult, which is like a slingshot. Um, Leopold waved his sword. The wolf bared his teeth and growled. They stood bravely side by side, ready to defend themselves. Noah put a stone in his catapult, and uh, Leopold pointed his sword. Slowly, the wolf backed away. He ran off, whimpering. Hooray, we won, shouted Leopold. Noah looked at him and said, thanks. I would have never scared off the wolf without you. Leopold was happy because he knew this was real friendship. Together, they felt stronger. Meanwhile, the king was worried. He jumped on his horse and galloped out to find Leopold. When he saw the wolf running away, whimpering, he said, well, well, it looks like that wolf just ran into two very brave boys. The end. All right, 182 points complete. Okay, that's the end. Love you guys.